everybody i think it's obvious what time of the year it is when i've got trail cameras out on the dining room table my wife knows what time of the year it is so this year i wanted to try um kind of branch out and try some different trail camera brands some off brands some new brands Shit, cut that so this year i wanted to branch out and try some new brands and this one here has been by far my favorite so far so i've got a couple of these hung i just got this new one i figured be a good opportunity to talk to you guys about it, tell you what comes in the box, how easy it is to set up, and just how great a quality I've been getting out of this. All right, so taking a look at everything that comes in the box, obviously you got the camera itself, you've got a strap, actually sucks up really tight, it's got a um, kind of a pull buckle system there. Your mount for it, obviously the antenna, because this is a 4G cell that works with pretty much every provider. Then you've got some miscellaneous tools, some hardware, solar panel, which I am a huge fan of solar panel powered. And one piece of advice I'll give you is before you take it out and set it up, give it a full charge. Plug it in at night, um, the night before you're gonna go set it up, just let it charge a good eight, 10, 12 hours. That way when you get out in the field, you're starting with a fresh charge and then that solar panel, all it's doing is keeping up and just trickle charging it. All right, so I got it mounted here in the back of my property. I wanted to show you, so I've got the solar panel mounted up there and all it does is just plugs into the regular charging port that you charged um, it in before you brought it out here and you got your cell phone antenna that just screws into the side we'll open it up so you can do either cloud-based recording or so this is where you install your sim card and then you've got your SD card up there we'll turn it on then you'll get a red light for power and then in just a minute these lights will go solid and you'll be good to go. All right, so we're gonna give this a couple days, see if we get anything here. This is, uh, like I said, on the back part of my property, and there's actually quite a few deer trails and game trails that come through here, so we're gonna see what we can pick up here, and knowing that uh, I'm not gonna run out of battery because that does have solar power, that really helps. So let's check in later and see what we get. All right, let's take a look at the app. Super easy to load, here's your home screen. Any cameras you have will be here on that main screen. You can check the status of your 4G service as well. And then it's, everything is within the app. Here's your cloud video service. This is where your pictures and your videos are gonna be stored if you have cloud service turned on. Then you can scroll through different days of the month. Here's a video I just got the other day um, of a couple deer, I think it was like 1.30 in the morning. Um, so I'm really happy with the night vision that this has with the infrared. Obviously you can see it didn't scare the deer away. When it first triggered, the deer looked up, but then it was fine and comfortable after that. So a couple deer, there's one in the background walking through the trees. Really good quality, happy with that. And the local album, so if you're not using cloud service, that's where the pictures will be for your SD card. And just another look here at the calendar, being able to select through um, and see. And then your typical settings, there's my friends. You can add a friend through here if you want somebody else to be able to have access to your camera. You can share that there as well. And then your live view. This here, this camera is at an area with very, very low cell service. My phone barely even gets any service there. And I can pull this video up anytime. Um, and then I can take a snapshot, that photo button on the left. You can hit your, photo, your video button on the right and take whatever video you want. If you're not triggering a motion and you just want to get a little bit of video um, for whatever reason, you can do that as well. And it does have a microphone button. If you want to make noise through the camera to whatever is there, you can do that. So I'm really happy with this camera. I'm going to get a couple more for this season. It's going to be handy device to have. So highly recommend this one.